Hi, TSTO, tamang sagot sa tamang oras. And happy birthday to my grandchild here in Canada, Mr. Travis Fernandez. A round of applause. Travis, I do this vlog to dedicate this to you because you are, you are my love, love grandchild, Travis Fernandez. And um, also to shout out to my dear friend, Miss Arcel de la Cuesta Bosamos. Stop eating sweets, you know what it means. Actually, my uh, cut gamers, uh, we have two games right now, letter A and letter B. Letter A, my papasok the pictures, apat the pictures the magkakapatid. At uh, titingnan nyo lang, i-guess nyo, isusulat nyo sa papel kung sino ang nag-birthday, bibigyan ko ng 150 kung makakuha kayo ng tabang sagot. Uh, maglagay lang kayo, number lang, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ang nag-una, number 1, ang nag 2, 3, 4. Ang huli, yun ay kaapat. So yun na, ay kalawa nating uh, tanong, bibigay ko ng 50 pesos each with this uh, letter. D, D, T, H, E. Okay? Bilangin niyo yun sa my Sunday's best vlog ko kasi every Sunday ang bibigyan ko ng thought ko about ang loyal team, about sa gospel of the Sunday. The Sunday of December 20, uh, 13. That's today, the birthday of Travis. Then, I'll give you 50 kung makahula kayo, makakaon kayo ng tama. Apat ang bibigyan ko ng 50-50. Okay? So, yun lang. And uh, ito po si Loyal Pasa, hindi nagpapasa. Habang may buhay, may pag-asa sa COVID, huwag mabahala, ingat lang kapatid. Andyan si Batala, like first before you answer. Think first before you click. Then, sa Ernesto Paasa lang, messenger, huwag sa YouTube, baka may mangungupia. Yan lang po. Ito po si, ito na. God bless us and bye-bye. Have a God's morning, brothers and sisters. And uh, we wish you a happy disposition of listening and watching the Loyal Team's blog of this Sunday. Our own insight of the Gospel today, Sunday, December 13, 2020, in John chapter 1, verses 6 to 8, and chapter 1, verses 9 to 28. As I have said, the topic that I would like to share to you now is all about the topic, watch your watch. Isn't it interesting? While watching your watch, watch your watch. The important phrase of our gospel today sounded like the other Sunday's gospel. Make straight the way of the Lord. Remember that. Make straight the way of the Lord from St. John the Baptist. It is likely straightening our behavior, positioning our belief to only one God, and most of all, a hearty repentance. St. John the Baptist humbly says he is not the light but to testify the light. No less than that shining light is Jesus Christ. And to testify the light you need to have a total conviction of your faith for it is a risky thing for our lives. We need to go through tremendous trials and experiences, of various afflictions, tribulations, pains, suffering, distress, uh, depression, all kinds of heartaches, if you want to testify the light. And being said that, 
the human race needs to be vigilant and to be very keen to detect dangers that would likely destroy our faith. Watch your watch. Literally, if you keep on watching your watch, especially if your watch is very expensive like Rolex, keep on watching. It might be stolen. That is a literal meaning. Keep on watching your alarm clock and your watch. If you put that in an alarm when you for waking up in the morning or any appointments, like taking your pills or whatever, this should be a uh, watch to alarm you that it's time for you to take your pills and any other appointments. Mag-alarm sa pagkatulog para dili malate, hindi malate sa pagtrabaho. Sometimes, nag-alarm tayo, then when it alarmed in the morning, we will wake up and put off the alarm and sleep again. Sometimes, we don't follow instructions, even our own instructions. Kidding aside, uh, brothers and sisters, basically, Watch Your Watch has an acronym of, from the word watch, W, words. Sometimes we are too tactless. This is addressed to everyone that we might hurt or offend somebody or the words that comes out from our mouth. What the mouth speaketh is the heart speaketh. Kung ano ang naisalita mo, naipalabas mo, yun ang galing sa puso. Sinabi mong walang hiya ka, walang hiya din ang puso mo. Let's take control. Watch your words from the word W. Gossiping that will destroy uh, individual's dignity. Gossiping there, gossiping here. Then making troubles to the community and even in the office. Words. Be careful of the words that comes out from our mouth. It will kill us. It will kill our soul. From the word watch, letter A. Actions. Kailangan lahat ng kilos mo nakaswak sa Panginoon. Because God doesn't want a split personality. That when you praise the Lord inside the church, then you get out you have to uh, condemn the Lord. It should be one personality, one faith, and one God. Action. Kailangan ng action mo sabay sa puso mo. Kaya nga sa EWTN, mayroon, din, mayroon isang segment doon. There is a segment that called a sheep in a wolf's clothing. Ano? A wolf in a sheep's clothing, rather. Na parang naka kamuplads lang tayo. This is addressed to everybody. Our priests, our ordinary citizens, we might be sometimes, our officials, we might be sometimes wearing our dignity, our being famous, our being religious, but unfortunately, what's inside is a wolf, not a sheep. Angel outside, but evil inside. Watch your watch. Letter T. Talent. Treasure. Time. Please, share your talent. This venue, this uh, platform right now in my blog, I don't mind if I only have a few subscribers. I don't mind if I don't get anything of doing this as long as I get something from the heart to each and everyone who will listen. And this is the sad thing. One of my uh, subscribers in YouTube, in my channel, said that, uh, brother, if it's all about God, there are only a few people who are watching. And that's 
the reality. Because I compared my other vlog like a funny thing or you will give a price, cash price, then there will be lots of watch uh, time that I have. It will uh, reach to 200. But when it's about God, who is the giver of all this blog thing and everything? Only 24 is watching. And thank you for the 24 people who are watching. God bless you. Share your talent. Don't ever tell me that you don't have talent. The talent of cooking, the talent of talking. Don't gossip. Talk about God. Treasure. Walang mayama na hindi nangangailangan at walang mahirap na hindi makapagbigay. Di ba? Problema lang. Greedy ang puso natin. Hindi tayo makapagbigay. Treasure. It's not a big amount. Time. Time to talk about God. We group ourselves and talking about yourself and myself. Talk about God. Talk about the owner of your life. Talk about the potter. Or the pa the potter, yeah. Because we are the clay and he is the potter. We need to talk about him. My brothers and sisters. Kaya nga nag-COVID. Kasi we always prioritize ourselves and not the giver of all this. Watch your watch. Let her see. Conscience. Our thoughts. Ang ating pagka-judgmental. Sometimes when we, most of the time, we're pointing fingers to others because we don't want to be blamed. When you're pointing your fingers to others and you're pointing only one finger and remember that the, these three fingers are pointing to you. So, being judgmental is not a good thing. And how can we eradicate that in our mind ourselves? Pray. Because according to Padre Pio, it is a healthy sign if the devil shouts and roars around your conscience, it shows he is not inside your will. Kumikonsensya ka? So if you're bothered with your conscience, that is a positive sign that God is still with you. Because the, the, the devil is just rolling around your corner. But be strong. Watch your watch. Letter H, the last number, na let, uh, letter. Heart. Slow down our tongue. That might lead you to hell. Baka stress. Minsan. Ang daming nang lalabas sa bibig para pagsisira lang sa tao. Kailangan galing sa puso. Hindi sa muso. Okay? Hindi sa muso. When we pray, from here, not here. Okay, maraming problema na hindi nasosong. And we will always complain, complain, and complain. Bakit? Kasi hindi galing sa puso. Galing sa muso. St. John the Baptist was beheaded to defend his faith. How about you? Are you ready? Count your blessings and not the missing. That is the thought for the day. My next topic, brothers and sisters, is about believing the existence of God and the existence of COVID-19. Ito po si Loyal Paasa, hindi nagpapaasa habang may buhay, may pag-asa sa COVID, huwag babahala. Ingat lang kapatid, andyan si Batala. Bye and God bless us.